So this video is going to be a little bit different. Normally we reserve this channel for gameplay or like video game information, news about new games coming out, stuff like that. But every once in a while there's something that happens out in the real world that just kind of catches our attention enough that we figure we should talk about it. I have never seen a total eclipse eclipse before um now other people here have seen partial eclipses uh i was never lucky enough to see that but earlier today way earlier this morning we had a total eclipse go over top of us so we tried our best to film it and what you're currently seeing on the on the video right now is what we saw but we want to talk about like the feels of it Cause it was weird, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, felt like a apocalypse in a way. Yeah, it was eerie. I've never so you saw a partial. I saw a partial where it was almost the eclipse. Right, where there's like, like partial, like a quarter of it was still left out of like the side of it. It was of almost complete. Okay, but it never got as dark as it did today. Yeah, that was weird. It was like nighttime. Our motion sensor light, which core like. It will not turn on, and when it's daytime, it kicked on. So it thought it was night, too. And then all the bugs came out. All that the, was creepy. All the nighttime bugs. The bird. That, did you notice the birds quit singing? Mm -hmm. Then all the bats came out. Oh, I didn't see bats. But that was cool. Yeah, I felt all the bats came started out. Like, flying around. Yeah. I'm Batman. If I saw someone saying I'm Batman, I would be very terrified, <laughs> though, if it's just during the eclipse. Uh, people were shooting off fireworks. There's all sorts of stuff. People were cheering and screaming. And and we live in kind of like a remote area and we could hear people. Oh, yeah. It, it was it was weird. It was kind of awesome. There was a sunset, too. There was. If you looked off, I don't think we got footage of it. We should have. But if you looked off in like the sides of it, there was sunset everywhere the light touched you could still see it it was so creepy yeah it was just it and was the temperature difference yeah that's the next thing i was going to talk about it dropped like 10 degrees you could feel I it i feel like it was like 20 almost but yeah um i i think okay 15 we'll go yeah in the middle. i mean i agree it felt like that it definitely did um the only reason i said 10 was i think i looked it up and they said that it dropped 10 okay real like, feel yeah real feel was 15 or 20 you are absolutely correct it was chilly but it was like the whole world for a second just like stop so eerie so like now the sky was falling yeah it like in chicken little yeah it kind of felt that way and when you looked up at it um well i looked both through like these the glasses that they were selling for it and also like took them off after it got fully clipped for a little while Trying not to burn out the corneas or retinas in my eyes or whichever. And it was so strange. I the, I know the camera's not going to do justice to it. I know I'm looking at the footage like right now and it's not, it's not perfect. But the real look of it was so, it was such a bright halo effect. Mm -hmm. I know some movies have tried to recreate it. Those movies don't do it justice. It was beautiful. I would argue that everyone should at least see something similar to that yeah. one time in their life. That is incredible. And just experience it. Because the footage and everything else, the digital recreations I've seen, they all look good. They all look the part, but they don't feel the part. No, I never had my first child, but it's like equivalent to watching childbirth. The right. Beauty. I if you weren't there to watch your first child, you should at least see the solar eclipse. Right, exactly. <laughs> it, it's pretty much comparable. <laughs> but I, I will say it is, it's monumental like that. It yeah. really is monumental. I wasn't, in, like going into this, I wasn't thinking it was going to be anything special because I've seen a partial one before. But it was definitely breathtaking. Yeah. Scary, breathtaking. And you're just caught up in the moment. Yeah, and... It's like, and it, what was really weird was you hear everyone talk about how there's like, there's three minutes of the eclipse. And that's true. To me, it felt less. It probably, yeah, it did kind of feel a little bit less. Of like total, of total darkness. Right. That's true. And I think what they consider to be like eclipse is like. When it's still over 
the center point of the yeah i think it's like 80 percent or something like that so it it was it, it was probably a little bit shorter than that i think you're right it definitely felt it it definitely only felt like 30 seconds but what was really kind of neat was the lead up to it like the couple hours before and after where yeah. you can kind of sort of see a sliver of the moon peeking out um, from behind the clouds because it was pretty cloudy um, at certain times. But you could still see it. The, it. the light was bright enough that you could tell what was going on. But that was, I don't know. Can you know. imagine Alaska? No, I can't imagine Alaska. When they get their full darkness? The, like, Do they get 24 is it, hours Was of it full like darkness? that where you can kind of see but still kind of dark? Or is it... No, from what I understand as far I've never been there. I don't know for sure. Like the sun just does exist. It it doesn't come we... up. Like, like you might get like the edge of the the horizon might get bright from what I've heard, but you do not get sun. There is no moment of, oh, okay, now light is coming. It's just, for a while, it's just dark. <laughs> I couldn't handle that. My circadian rhythm does not do well with dark all the time. I, I My sleep would just be obnoxious at that point. More so than it already is. My sleep behavior is just ridiculous. My brain does not know when sleep time is. <laughs> and I have a set like bedtime I try to go to to try to fix that. It don't work. But anyway, <laughs> that's that's a whole nother topic. Yeah. For a podcast. Right, exactly. But yeah, it's just it's it was really cool. And something that I never thought I would ever kind of be able to experience. Or if I did, I was thinking a lot like you that it would just be something like quick, real easy, and like, you know, this isn't anything really that big a deal. I think the next one's like in August. But it's not in the United States. I think it's in like the southern like oh there's going to be another one in like the southern hemisphere kind of thing on social media it says with the glasses don't throw your glasses away uh, send them off to this I don't know something like there's an address to send your glasses to okay and they would sell them to either <laughs> to, our to maybe a different country <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, capitalism <laughs> that or just give it out to the kids or something I don't know I oh, saw okay. on social media that there's going to be another one in the southern the southern hemisphere so yeah okay that'd be cool that would be really neat i i uh, kind of always i always wondered you know like like they say that the toilet flushes the opposite direction in the southern hemisphere and stuff like that like do things look different do they feel different well yeah our winter's not their winter that's true yeah christmas in australia is hot <laughs> so um at least from what i've heard from friends from there so because my one friend said that during Christmas they go, they go swimming. Mm. If we tried to swim during Christmas here, we would freeze to death. So, <laughs> but yeah, I guess you know the footage is probably wrapping up right about now. I just is there anything else you kind of wanted to, to talk about besides how eerie and creepy and quiet it was, it was? It was. It was. It was quiet and cold and dark. As and, creepy as it was, it was still beautiful. Creepy. Yeah. If you can picture of beautiful creepy yes it like that it really was yeah so anyone who kind of had a chance to, to kind of see it or experience something similar to that and other times if you want to like leave your comments down below talking about the experience or what you even kind of think of the whole solar eclipse thing I was even, and you know, we won't get into it too much, but I, I was even sitting there and we had a conversation like, you know, we could definitely tell where if something like that randomly happened and we didn't know something was going on, we didn't have technology. Back in the old days, you could definitely think, oh man, I really messed up and I angered our gods. Like whoever like your the gods Aztecs are back the then. Mayans. Yeah, like the Mayans and Aztecs. Like, you'd be like, okay, we got to do something. We did something really bad. They took the sun away for a second. Let's go feed the volcano. Yeah, volcano. Let, let's go throw some people in volcanoes or something like that. So we could definitely see where something with that, like that could happen if you experienced that and had no clue. Um, but yeah, so. Oh, and the dog was acting weird. Like, even the animals were acting Well, we talked about how the birds were, but like, even like domesticated animals. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Because you brought your dog over and yep. she was just going crazy. Yep. Like she was not sure about anything going on. 
And I think part of that might have been like the fireworks because I know she doesn't love them. But she was still kind of like antsy. But even afterwards, she kind of acted a little weird. And even before they fired them off, she was acting mm. a little weird. So, yeah, I just, they have such a sixth sense animals do mm -hmm. it's just it's crazy to me i wish i could like feel things that they feel sometimes and other times i i'm i'm glad that i don't because he's schizophrenic yeah i, I don't want to be able to feel the earthquake anxiety. or whatever yeah. coming all the time be on edge all the time <laughs> yeah any sudden movement right or any like quiet sound that i wasn't hearing that is going on around me all the time mm -hmm. i think that pretty much covers everything that we really wanted to talk about in this and i'm glad that we were able to kind of ex share that with everyone and i know i'm sorry that this isn't like the normal videos all the normal videos are going to come back on tomorrow and we'll continue with our normal regularly scheduled thing we also have our shorts going out probably later too um maybe we might hold off and do the shorts back into the regular rotation too we'll see Whatever happens, though, we'll be here tomorrow waiting um, with open arms for everyone to show back up. So thank you so much for watching um, this and listening to us kind of just ramble on about fun stuff for a little while. Um, is there anything you want to say before? No. Okay. Thank Sounds you good. for listening. Yeah. Thank you. And stay tuned. And remember to take care and good.